my friend. Hello, oh, greetings. It's, uh, How are you? Are you okay? uh, I'm not sure if you remember me, but uh, I'm a big fan. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I can, I can see that Goonj book at your, uh, you know, on your table. Uh, I, I'm doing anything to impress you, Mr. Goonj. <laughs> <laughs> How is um, family? Everyone is safe? Yeah, everyone is safe. Every, we all are confined. I think although my uh, my team obviously has no option but to take risk, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, so this is a time when we all are needed in the field somewhere uh, and do as much as possible. So we all are trying to do. Uh, we have already initiated our work in terms of uh, relief and all in say about uh, 17 states of India. And uh, pro issues in India are a bit different you know, because uh, out here, a uh, larger uh, issue is also uh, is, is, is the displacement of people, you know, because large number of people have migrated or uh, back, you know, from the cities to the villages. So it is the reverse migration. It is the joblessness. I mean, so uh, I think it's, it's a complicated situation. I know you are for the poor people. Hmm. And there's yeah. always a saying that Coronavirus may not kill you, but starvation will. Yeah. What's the situation with the poor people? So, if you see, this is uh, again, it's not, uh, we all know that it's not uh, very unique to India only. A large number of countries will go through and are going through the hunger, the starvation, and all that. Right? Because I think worldwide, uh, uh, our our priorities have always been absolutely wrong and different. Right? I think huge amount of money has been spent on on weapons, on all kind of you know fake things which were not needed, but anything which was needed by the common people. And when I say common people uh, today, even the even the richest person is a common person. All of, all the people are inside their homes. That way, right? yeah. I mean, this disaster has been a big leveler. Uh, uh, so I think I think it's a it's, it's a simple question of wrong priorities for so many nations uh, where they instead of taking care of their own people they were more worried about maybe building some infrastructures or 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 maybe you know dealing in in weapons and and that is why that is why it'll it'll it will now become a big issue I mean the the countries which had the most advanced system of so called so called most advanced system of health and all that. And, uh, you know, all of them call them the developed nations. Right. And see, and see how, how it's, it's all flat. So yeah. the, the countries like ours. Many are like not ours, so developed after all, right? Huh? Many Sorry? are not so developed after all. Huh. Yeah. I mean, so it's all leveler. That's what I'm saying. Whether you are a developed country or underdeveloped country, of course, the countries which were still developing where you have uh, very, uh, you know, uh, Say very significant number of uh, of people with uh, with say any kind of poverty, especially this uh, financial poverty. For them, it's, it's it's extremely tough to handle it, for sure. I want to dive into the micro level, whereby you know I know that you you have friends who are poor, you you have community that you are taking care of. How are they doing? So I think for for uh, for a lot of people now it's a question of survival, right? Okay, I think I think it's very complicated because uh, because large number of people ultimately uh, survive on daily wages. Large so so if even if I talk about my country, I have less farmers and more farming labors. Right? What does it mean? It's not. Ah, I mean, we, we all know that, you know, and even if you are a farming labor, you are called a farmer, but yeah. you don't own a piece of land. Okay, got it. Okay. You are largely a, largely a daily wager even. The only difference is that instead of working on the road, you are working in a field. Right. So if you see a large part of uh, population of these, all these countries are actually the daily wagers. Today, even the even the driver of, of the most prestigious uh, car taxi services in the world, which is the Uber and in our case, another one, Ola or, or in, in your area, Grab and all that. Even 
even they have now turned into a daily wager kind of situation where they do not even have money to pay their installments for the car so so what's the, the implication um you know uh people would die people would um literally go on robbery what would happen you, you have no. another three weeks of uh, lockdown i know and yeah, so um, i do uh, i don't i don't think i don't think robbery and all that i think if if we if we as a country if we as institutions if we as government take care of people and what people are right now asking for is just the basic food right, right. no one is asking for anything fancy Why no one is even demanding what kind of food? I think it's is just the basic packed? survival cost. Yeah, is that it's just the basic survival thing? It's just the basic so that so that you can really have two meals a day and basic meals a day, um, and 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 you can survive. So if is the uh, food reaching out to the people? Food is reaching out, but I my my only uh, issue is that a the size of the problem is really really big, and b our larger population actually lives in the villages of India. Right. Uh, and even the reverse migration which has happened is that a large number of people have migrated back to the villages so if we want to uh, solve this problem and if we do not want any hunger or starvation death we will also have to work a lot in the villages of india uh, not only in the cities cities are important and we are working on it but we also have to huge amount of uh, keep a huge amount of focus on the villages of india i think and goonj has been as you know i mean our larger focus has always been the villages and a lot of things which i always used to say in my theory is that if you remember i used to say that slums are not the extension of the city slums are the extension of the villages right so so there is this misconception where people say that you know these communities or slums are the extension of cities and i always used to argue and say that these are not these are the places from you know in which the people who are forced to leave villages are 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 forced to stay and when the reverse migration happened this is a proof that all these lakhs uh, millions of people if they leave city and go back to the villages mm -hmm. that means these were the extension of the villages so now in a in a way in nutshell villages have more people mm -hmm. and less resources that's and, good and less number of people who can really take care of it less number of people with resources who can even take care of it cities so at least have turn back to and, the village do they have a yeah. roof over their head yeah some of them will have but some of them who stayed in the cities for many many years uh, do not even have that you know and for some time they can stay with their uh, families and all that but after that even that will become an issue but more importantly uh you know a family with about four or five people were were okay to survive but how can that family uh you know survive with a with a with a family size of 8 10 now which is increased and the resources have also increased this uh, resources have also gone down and the farming in income till the time that is not started uh and the moment the farming income starts then obviously things will become a bit easier 